Good morning, this is Michael with Bunch Marine. We're looking at a Camus CX-21 uh, with a Mercury 250 Pro XS four-stroke. Uh, just a few of the features that you'll see is it does have the uh, oversized winch and trailer jack standard, has the bow steps on the trailer standard for easy access into the boat. Aluminum wheels are, are standard a gator hide coated almost a rhino lined trailer uh, which is very durable will last a very very long time uh, you can see that it's got uh, built-in navigation lights up front uh, has pop-up cleats at the front and at the back and it also has them here midship which is normally a option on a lot of other boats but on this boat it is standard tandem axle trailer with dual disc brakes coming back to the back this model in particular has a hydraulic jack plate does come standard with a manual jack plate uh, ratchet tie downs on the trailer standard stainless steel prop you can see the finish uh, the exhaust for the live well pump outs and also the bilge pump outs are all built in nice and clean coming to the other side of the boat has a built-in ladder right here a good safety feature and also those days where you just want to jump in the water and have a good day back up the side fuel access right there in the middle fuel tank is mounted uh, right midship as low as you could possibly get it right here underneath the floor which makes it uh, uh, very easy to uh, it makes it a lot more stable than all the other boats that put their gas tanks at the rear or underneath the seats. So coming up into the boat, you can see the front deck has, it is a fully padded front deck. Most other boats just have pads underneath where you actually stand for the trolling motor. Uh, but this one, all the lids are padded as well. So the whole front deck is padded. Coming up to the front, a Minn Kota Ultrex 112 is standard on this boat, uh, which is a very nice feature. Very small things, like a disc to put for the trolling motor to come up onto so that it doesn't wear the carpet. It also has a wedge built in underneath the trolling motor to make the trolling motor level, where other boats you have to actually add a wedge to it. You can see oversized bow panel, which is made for any of the 16 inch depth finder screens has a built-in place for the trolling motor puck um, because all these trolling motors these days will have that so it actually has a place for it to where you don't have to just do it in some random place cup holder digital switching which is a very nice feature uh, very clean very good switches i'll turn them on at the console here in just a moment recess trolling motor pedal does have two holes for your seat you can see it right there very large lids stainless steel compression latches which are very nice because when you latch them down it actually sucks the lid down against the seal that you see all the way around the box so it has an oversized lip right here and it also has the oversized seal all the boxes are completely finished there's no carpet inside any of the compartments has led lighting gas shocks for the lids powder coated lids so that they stay nice and clean and are easy to clean so you can see the storage there coming over to the other side very large storage compartment here for any of your gear you can see the drains in the back corner very clean, very neat. Open up the cooler or day box, whatever you want to use it for. Does have LED lighting in it as well. Also is drained if you did want to use it as a cooler. You can see that it has the stainless steel uh, striker plates for when you accidentally close the lid or close the latch, slam the lid down it doesn't mess up your fiberglass, uh, which is a very nice feature. It makes, that's gonna make the boat last longer. 
center storage compartment. You can see here, very large rod box. Has plenty of tubes for all of your rods. Or you can use the side rod box as a rod box. And then you can use this as tackle storage. 3700 series Plano tackle boxes will fit down the side and down the middle. Two cup holders for those lures and stuff that you don't want to put back in the boxes. Very large step to get up onto the front deck. This is also your cooler, which is a very large size cooler. It is insulated all the way around. So your drinks will stay nice and cold. Build in fish ruler. Right here. It also has tool holder. On the other side, passenger side, you have very large space for those lures and stuff, and then a very large drawer. Put whatever you want to in. You can see it's very big. Port side rod holder. Most boats have just four rods that you can put there, and you could put a total of nine there. Also has a strap on the back deck. Right here. Coming over to the driver's console. You can see the horn, you can see the finish. Very large place for electronics there as well. Has one single gauge. It actually has two different, so you have one gauge. Now this is the hydraulic jack plate gauge, which would come as an option, but standard, you have this gauge right here, which is a speedometer. And then it also has these two LCD screens that you can flip through and see trim angle, engine hours, RPMs, speed, oil pressure, uh, water temp or engine temp, block pressure, which would be water pressure, battery voltage, gallons per hour to see what your fuel economy is doing, and then back to trim. The other side's fuel, gallons per hour. So you can set each one of these to do whatever your favorites are. That very large console, club box, very big size, see right there, for extra fuses or anything that you may need there, USB charging port. End of the console, you can see these are very good switches. Nope, oh, battery must be off, Our battery switch must be off. So you can see you've got power switch, navigation lights, all your live well controls, lots of accessory switches, courtesy locks, box lights, all that good stuff. Hot foot is standard. Cup holder beside the driver's seat. Come back, very large area right here. Driver and passenger seats both slide. So they do have slides on them. And then you have a large storage box here. iPilot remote, extra keys, all those sort of things will be right there. Net holder, very large size back deck. One thing I like about the boat is that the rear compartments do have gas shocks on them as well, which is never an option on most of the boats. Finished fiberglass liners, rubber mats on the bottom. Same thing on the other side. We've used this boat for demos and so on and so forth. So live wells are a little dirty, but you can see very large live wells here. Very large overflow. One very nice thing about this boat is that it has a high speed pickup on it. And so when you're traveling down the river, it is actually recirculating and filling the live wells. Uh, something you only see on saltwater boats. So very neat feature there. Back, battery compartment. Standard four bank charger. AGM cranking battery. Battery switches. And resettable breakers. Standard 31 series trolling motor batteries. And that. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is the Surf Turf cockpit flooring, uh, which dries very quickly. 
So you can see the amount of storage, the cleanliness of the boat, as far as how they put everything together. Very nice features. It rides, uh, the boat will run in the low 70s with two people. The ride is what Earl Bence has done his best of for years and years to come. So one of the best riding boats that you'll get in. Uh, at 70, 72 miles an hour, you can let go of the steering wheel and just cruise. Have a great day.